Um, another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. We've got a little bit more comfortable over here over the past couple days, entering the club room. The usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Brendan. Ah, Fury, always with the headless. The left, the left boob is over on the right. It, it makes sense, yeah. or the right one. I don't know the way I'm looking at it. It's on the left side, but I guess yours would be. It would be the right one. Anyway, just a little bit of hair cut off while you just glitch out in the ma. I think this might have been a, an error in the matrix today. I I understand. Ah, hi Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. Ah, it's definitely Yuri's expression. Jeez, you're smiling. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangers in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Yuri is reading manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica is not here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting... I wasn't acting mentally sound. So please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri? I'm really happy that you could... S could you're, that you were considerate and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though you've only been here for a couple days, I can tell something was off yesterday. Maybe you were just a little extra sensitive because it was the first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, I didn't think this... I didn't think... I didn't think, I didn't, it didn't make me think any less of you. I already de decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I really didn't mean it. Ah, Brendan, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. It makes me a little too happy. I'm really glad that we, that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and, ah, Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was just kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't seen either? Yuri's clearly taken back by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this, is, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday... I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything by any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever was on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. <laughs> I do... I don't even remember anything bad happening. What the frick? You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? This is from the last game. But... What the frick? <laughs> 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 Mibbles, sailcloths, blind sights, lifelines, and receptically thoughtlessly offered skeleton neighborly <laughs> mouth <laughs> it's just too funny I, I don't know it's supposed to be a serious moment I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it besides it's kind of nice to hear it since it was since I was always afraid you were secretly hating me or something like that hee <laughs> hee no not at all I don't hate you ha huh. Well, you're always kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. That's like he turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Oh, you were practicing piano, didn't you? Weren't you? I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, not like he was. I was not. Ah. What took you so long, anyways? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was study hall. And to be honest, I was kind of lost track of time. That makes no sense at all. You would have heard the bell ring at least. You must not have heard it since I was still practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't even aware you played piano as well as Monica. I don't give me more credit than I deserve. But I guess I've been practicing for a while. But I'm not really good yet. Still, it must require a lot of 
dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us next sometime. Ah, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe it'll be done when we finish all the endings to all of these people. Yeah, and maybe even her. Maybe I get... Once I get a little bit better, I will... Ah, that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, won't you let me... I won't let you down, Brennan. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any press... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I was just hoping I could share it with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything at all, did I? Not, not recently. I not, chose not to bring up the three of us talk, the three of us talked about. Besides, not to get already ran off into the closet. Brendan, um... Such a compliment to put me in such a good mood. I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I plan on it anyways. Okay. W can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just wants to pound it for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have s so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. He already takes a breath of, takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. Is there anything, there's one thing that can help me read that makes my read in time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for your not to mention for yourself as well <laughs> Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet I follow and watch her retrieve, retrieve a small water pitcher from the shelf the kind with a filter inside can you hold this for a second sure Yuri holds me the water pitcher and I also fetch an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me a second, sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. Am I surprised the way she moves really contracts her speaking mannerism? Especially because it's long because of her long legs, she is pure it's elegant and medical. I don't know. I can't read big words. I can read. It's not really big words. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Oh, uh, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave here again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored. Just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. <laughs> Let's see. That music is still being played in the room. And you can definitely hear that it's not in the hallway. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha! What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Kier. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ka. We just went back in time. That was all backwards. We just... What the... She definitely had cuts all down her arm. Holy... It was all the way down her arms. It was like... She was cutting herself, like, really badly. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Brennan, do you like... Oolong tea? Oh yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. 
Uh, just accept that myself doesn't realize this in the game, but I realize it outside of the game. But maybe myself actually knows what happens, but it already sets the temperature on the kettle for 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. I predicted that you cut yourself in the last game. Like, oh man, this is getting really. Even I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hew hew. In that case, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. I refested the teapot and I began measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it. I was letting it show. I was. I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking and decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that I'm not very hard. That's not very hard for me to do. When you know who's around, anyways. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Brennan. Very endearing. That's Yuri. Wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I keep watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Yuri, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on? Or Brennan, I okay. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why's that? It's just a little bit easier on my back. I can't read with my back against the wall rather than. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Oh, is that so? I wonder why that why that, that is. That's uh, most likely because of my, uh, my, your posture, right? Always lunging over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. That is why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough, I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. <gasps> I have some chocolate as well. I am. I just know what's up. I. I brought chocolate to the club. A bag of small chocolate candies that I eat all in one thing. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. I'm not really big on a tea person. I'm not a big tea person. I I like coffee and stuff. Tea's just not my it's not my cup of tea, man. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As in sync, we assume the same reading posture as last time. Each of us holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less ap apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. It's a teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it in my hand, it's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. And I can only assume that the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. Put the teacup between my legs and humble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get, get smudged on the pages. Oh, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll, I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. You opens the book with both hands. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It has like little, like dust effects from the light. Oh, that's nice. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practicing resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and plop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. He doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, and the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I presently pass, place the chocolate in her mouth. 
That's just like Yuri closing her lips over it. <sighs> she has chocolate. Ooh, ma'am, this is getting even better. Even though I don't like reading. I, if someone gave me chocolate while reading, might even do it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confront what just happened. Um, Brendan? Sorry, I guess I should have done that. Uh, better not be a stupid jump scare again. Cause the sound just got dead quiet. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Brendan suddenly forced to grab my arm and jerks me to the feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Brendan? My heart, my heart won't stop pounding, Brennan. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Brennan? You're suddenly pressing my hand against your chest. Why is this happening to me? I think she... Okay. My thought of train right here. Is she... Is she like a diabetic? or something? Can she not eat chocolate? Does she get like really heart like pounding really fast when she eats it? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make a stop. It even makes me want to read. Not want to read. I just want to look at you. Ooh. Those eyes though. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> oh my goodness, his eyes are hilarious. Ah. Um, it's time to share poems. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, I think Yuri needs some a little bit of time, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, just as I thought. Brennan, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about mentioning, impressing her than trying to improve your writing. Put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even going? Why are you even in this club, Brennan? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together, not exactly exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity, anyway. Look, I'm not going. I'm not in a good mood, anyway. I just really don't like talking right now. Please go away. Ah, oh, that was nice, slow read. Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written to her today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Brendan, this one might... This one might even be better than yesterday. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques we're practicing. Maybe that's why... You did a good job explaining... I really wanted to give it, try to give it more imaginary. Yuri visibly swallows, even her hand appears sweatly. Ha! That makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Brendan. Everything that you've written is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ha! I just wanted to write a poem about this feeling. Is, this, is that bad, Brendan? Not being weird, right? I have a hard time than usual at like, concealing my emotions. I'm, it's kind of embarrassed. But right now I want to read my poem. I want, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? This is definitely a different poem from the last time. Okay. At least I think. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was just so long I totally forgot to read it. A wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning on axle. Grinding. Bolt. Head. Linear. Gearbox, fallen sky, seven whole stakes, a docket ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, torn har harness, paradox gearbox, expanding universe, T time controlled by sl slipping cogwheels, existing of God, swimmingly with the open waters in all directions, drowning in a prayer with written in blood, a prayer written in the time Divided snakes with human eyes, a tread convincing all human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. I can read. I expensive gearbox, a uh, sky of exploding stars, God, 
disapproving the existence of a of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, four gears, a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks, every second time a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock head shipped to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions, breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. I don't get it. it it's actually, I, I guess it was kind of good, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what it's about.